One time, when Heron's omen machines were in particular demand, was during war, a frequent event in the ancient world. Everyone wanted to ask the gods if they or their loved ones would survive. But Heron could help with more than just omen machines. In Alexandria, he had read treatises by Archimedes, Tisibius, and Dionysius on building war machines. Perhaps he could devise machines that would not just predict the outcome of wars, but would actually help to win them. Heron turned his prodigious mechanical mind to the art of warfare. Heron had automated doors, fountains, and musical boxes. Now he wanted to automate war. Building on the theoretical work of the great Greek mathematicians, he described automatic war machines, stronger, faster, and more fearless than the foot soldiers of the day. A deadly military technology, centuries ahead of its time. Alan Wilkins has been using ancient descriptions of war machines to try to rebuild these fearsome devices. This is a Greek catapult, but it's no ordinary catapult. This is the Polybolos, the multi-shooter. It's the first machine gun, and it's over 2,000 years before what is now regarded as the first machine gun, the Victorian Gatling gun. This ingenious weapon had many unique features. It was one of the first uses of a chain mechanism anywhere on Earth. It could fire a bolt further and harder than any man, and most terrifyingly, it could fire bolt after relentless bolt without rest. The Roman army in particular had an interest in such lethal devices. With a huge border to defend, such weapons offered them a distinct advantage. From the Roman perspective, men like Heron could help to hold the empire together. Here, on Trajan's column in Rome, can be seen an automatic Cairo ballista or hand catapult. This machine originated in Alexandria and dates from Heron's day. It may even have been devised by him. Alan Wilkins has built a working model. The device mimics the action of a traditional archer firing arrows, but with much more force. It is a primitive military robot. The main length of the machine represents the outstretched arm of the archer. A double-handed cranking system then draws the string back, clamped between two metal hooks. When the arm is fully stretched, these steel fingers then release, driving the bolt forward with terrific force. Alexandria, of course, received a tremendous boost. By Heron's day, it was, a, of course, a Roman province, and the Romans obviously backed this research there. They continue to want to use engineers like Heron because they knew they were the best. Many devastating war machines would have been used in battle, but others were developed as prototypes for future use. Here are these Alexandrian engineers thinking up all these ideas which are a couple of thousand years before they can ever be realized. They didn't allow the limitations of their own technology to limit their ideas. <laughs> 